Batman Vengeance from 2017. This rabid third entry in the Dark Vein killology from director Carl Lindbergh brings the murderous rampage of a psychologically and physically scarred guy in a man-sized bunny rabbit costume back home. Home to his dysfunctional adoptive family of three black brothers, the eldest and sickest two who were responsible for bringing about the dark persona that would become the Bunny Man. As a young boy, Michael was teased like the runt of any litter, but one day he was turned upon by the elder boys and just for sick fun was doused in gasoline and set upon fire. If it were not for the younger brother and true friend of the set upon boy putting the flames out with a blanket, Michael would have died. Severely burnt and disfigured, both the mind and body cataclysmically changed forever. And when Michael thereafter was cruelly teased and picked upon for his disfigured appearance, he completely snapped, striking out at all who came into his path. The mind of Michael was no more. Now the mindless, yet coldly calm presence of a killer had taken control and to hide his physical abhorrence from the world he would dress his rebirth in the tattered and dirty costume of a man-sized rabbit setting forth across the state as a button-nosed bunny with his own killer zip code with the chainsaw churning bloodbath trail left in his wake from his first outing in Bunny Man from 2011, relentlessly glorified in the follow-up Bunny Man Massacre from 2014, Michael heads back to his homeland roots to meet back up with his friend Jacob and his two deranged brothers. They are set up together in a run-down haunted house attraction, but they still manage to bring in the locals for the closed-door tour and a killer time is had by all. Jacob is the slow-witted, well-meaning younger brother, pushed around by his two twisted elder siblings, and he, for one, is pleased to see his friend Michael return, bunny suit and all. Back in the fold, Bunny Man is soon roped into the lead two brothers' kill-for-kicks world of deeply deranged antics. The movie ploughs through a never-ending plethora of bit part players as carnage takes centre stage, delivering a mix of pretty well done practical effect kills and a few moments of startling unease, such as a nasty acid torture and kill sequence. A gathering of female friend campers brings out the Blood Brothers for a frenzied night of fright time chills and kills. Derangedly dressed in a dark, humoured delivery of machete and spear laden massacre. Two well built masked black dudes with their lackey brother and a 24 carat killer bunny man bearing down upon helpless victims in the woods at night is the stuff of freakish nightmares. As offbeat and very often unpleasant for regular film goers as Bunny Man Vengeance is, movie maker Carl Lindbergh has created a minor work of creative visual flair and perturbing presence, setting his film above the regular glut of low budget nonsense. Brilliantly realised in a constantly well rendered 235 to 1 widescreen aspect, his film capturing technique is most impressive here, and he delivers a horror style mashup reminiscent of the likes of the Friday the 13th films set in the more desolate world of the Wolf Creek franchise. Throw in a midway surreal nightmare sequence that is bizarrely brilliant and as tantalisingly twisted as the outlandish moments from the mind of controversial German horror filmmaker Jörg 
butter grit and the movie's viewing experience delivers a draw you in 5.5 out of 10 experience that you will not soon forget. The killer showdown standoff ending that brings about the true bunny man vengeance signs things off with hair raising retribution relish. Leaving no doubt this is one bad to the bone bunny. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.